guys, welcome to today's video. This is going to be a little bit of a different one. I'm actually starting a new series, if you like, a new feature on this channel that is going to be do's and don'ts. So this is where I'm going to pick makeup products, I'm going to pick steps in a makeup routine and give you helpful tips for that perfect application. Today I'm actually going to start with mascara. It's one of those products that most girls can't live without. It transforms your face, it gives you nice bright open eyes and it's really important to get right. And actually we all know way too well how easy it is to get it wrong. Clumpy lashes, printing mascara, just being a bit fiddly and actually what I'm going to do today is give you my top do's and don'ts to make sure that you have the easiest application and the best result. Number one on the to-do list actually starts before you even whip out the mascara wand and it's all about curling your lashes. Now I don't really buy into certain lash curlers being better or worse than others. These are models own eyelash curlers I get on really well with them. Now it might be one of those tips that you say, yeah, we all know that, we all know we need to curl our lashes, but seriously, do it. It will transform everything. So there's a big difference between putting mascara on quite flat and straight lashes, and then lashes that are naturally curled and you get that lift. It really helps to open up your eyes. So a little helpful tip when it comes to curling your lashes, if you can and you have time, heat your lash curler before you do it. So if you've got a hairdryer nearby, just apply a bit of heat onto both sides of your eyelash curlers and then go ahead and curl. I tend to go on one, two, three, off, one, two, three, off. And that is all you need for a long lasting curl of your lashes. Number two. Now this is something that you might think, mm, now she's lost me but bear with me not many people will think of using powder when it comes to mascara but actually it's something that can really work if you're looking for a, an effect that is quite dramatic and full of volume don't be afraid to try a bit of loose powder again a bit of common sense don't go too wild on this you don't want to look like it's a fancy dress look it really isn't but just a little dusting of some powder on your lashes top and bottom can really help act as a bit of a adhesive agent i guess think of it as a primer basically before you pop on your mascara it just gives something for the mascara really to hold on to and it can work really well for a little bit of added drama so yeah next time Give the powder a go. Now, my third tip is to do with when you actually are applying your mascara. Now when you take the wand out of the tube sometimes you will get this build up of product on the end actually throughout the wand and actually as you can imagine if you pop this straight on your lashes you are going to end up in a bit of a clumpy slightly messy disaster. What I would recommend is taking a cotton pad, a tissue, whatever you have handy and actually as soon as you pull it out of the tube get your cotton pad and what you want to do is rub off the excess on here and then do the tip. Now what you end up with, you've taken the excess off onto here and you've got the perfect amount of product on your wand to then apply onto your lashes. We've all been there, we've all put mascara straight onto our lashes and thought, oh wow, that's a little bit, bit heavier than I was going for. So this is a really quick and easy way of trying to prevent that from happening. So number four is actually about applying the mascara. Most people, and I've watched people put on mascara quite a lot, I'm one of those people, I love watching people put on their makeup, I see so many girls putting on their mascara vertically, so just working it through the lashes in that way. Now I mean on the surface that's fine, you're going to end up with nice lashes, but actually what I would recommend is shaking it up a little bit. You really want to get to those lashes from the base. What you're going to do instead of moving vertically is actually work in a zigzag. You're going to get right into the root of the lashes and work up through the length of the lash. What this does is really invigorates the base of the lashes, gives you more drama and really ensures that you're coating every lash with a good amount of product. Now, number five, this is what you should do if you want a dramatic look but no clumpiness. And frankly, I would say that's most of us. There is absolutely nothing wrong with going in layer after layer after layer. But the big mistake that people make 
is not waiting for the previous layer to dry. What you're doing if you're not letting it dry is just adding more wet product onto wet product onto wet product and no wonder it gets clumpy. So put on your one layer, your first layer in your zigzagging motion and then wait. Move on to your concealer, move on to your bronzer, whatever you want to do, make a cup of tea. Just don't put on another layer until you are sure that it is dry. Go back in for a second layer, go in for a third, completely up to you, but that will stop you getting clumpy lashes. Tip number six. Now we've all seen these bad boys before. We all love a spoolie, it's how we put on our mascara, but actually what I'm recommending to you is to keep a few clean ones in your makeup bag or kit. Now they're not only perfect for brushing through your eyebrows, they're also fantastic for brushing through any clumpy mascara. A clean spoolie will help you really work through those lashes to make sure you are getting as even an application as possible. It will take off any excess and just leave you with just the right amount of product. It's a really simple tip, but works wonders. Now the seventh and final tip in my do part of the video, before I move on to the don'ts, is about keeping certain parts of your mascara. We've just been talking about how spoolies are super versatile and a great thing to keep in your kit. What you can do is just give this a wash, pop it in your makeup bag, and next time you need to separate out those lashes or you want a more natural application, or you're looking for a brow spoolie, you have one handy. Right, we are now on to the don'ts section of this video. Now these I'm gonna be quite strict with because I see them happening so often and I always tell people not to do this but you don't want to sound too preachy but if you're watching this video then you're looking for them so be prepared. <laughs> now my first don't part of this video is a really simple one and you can do this, everybody can do this because it is so easy. First things first, when you're trying to get product onto your mascara wand you want to swirl to get the product. Do not, and I mean this is the don't part of the video, don't pump your mascara. You don't want to get more air into your product because it's gonna dry out the formula that much quicker. We all wanna get the most out of our products. So that is a really quick and easy way to make sure that you get the optimum amount of usage out of your mascara. My second don't of the video is do not ignore your sell-by dates. Mascara typically has about a three month shelf life and don't be stingy, do change your mascara. You've really got to be careful with products that you put close to your eye. You don't want an infection. You just don't want all of that nasty bacteria so close to your eye. Now, how you check for the shelf life of your mascara is by looking at the packaging. All tubes of mascara show you the point at which you should throw out the mascara and go and get yourself a fresh one. So what you're looking for on packaging is what looks like a little bit of a cylinder and it will have a number followed by an M and that is the number of months before you need to throw your mascara out. My third and final don't is don't be afraid of colour. Most people when they think of mascara they think of really jet black mascara and I can totally see why. It really helps with the definition and it makes that dramatic look that we all know and love. It's such an easy one to say, but a slightly harder one to do. I know when you get to bright colours like blues, it seems a little bit daunting, but blue is a really fantastic way to brighten and whiten your eyes. The colour in the blue, well, the colour pigments will actually help reflect light. They will make the whites of your eyes even whiter. So if you're having a tired day or you had a slightly heavy night the night before, this is such a fantastic option when it comes to your mascara. Brown mascara, also a massive favourite of mine. I absolutely love brown mascara. It's slightly softer and it's a really good way of getting a more natural day look, but mixing it up a little bit. So don't be afraid of colour. See what your local Boots and Superdrug and the concessions have on offer and don't be afraid to mix it up. You might be surprised what you find. So there we have it. We are at the end of the video. They are all of my do's and do nots for the perfect application of your mascara. As I mentioned at the start, this is gonna be a new series on my channel, so I will be picking something else soon. I'm thinking brows, lips, but please feel free to leave suggestions in the comments below. I'd really like to know what you'd like to see and I will happily tackle it for you. And as always, please do like and hit the subscribe button for more videos of the same. But thanks so much for watching, guys. I really hope you found these tips helpful and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.